guys, it's Linda Winter of Winter Designs. I want to show you some projects from my favorite set of templates, the box bag. If you watch my videos and you know me, my www.youtube.com forward slash slash Linda videos and my Facebook, Winter Designs for Sewing and Quilting and my website, winterdesigns.com. If you know me, then you already know I have a bunch of videos on this set of templates, but I've got some new projects that I finally had some time to create and now finally taking time to film. This is a box bag template. This is a regular size. It's a house, but we're really going to be using it more this way for most of my projects. This is a fussy cut frame. You may or may not know about this, so I'm going to show you some projects with that. And then this is the large size. The large size lets you do a bunch of fun projects, basically the same kind of stuff as this one, but bigger. You don't need a fussy cut frame for the large just because you're really going to fold the fabric in half. This is for you to frame out something. And again, I'll show you some projects there. Okay, so this guy here, boxes and bags, it's called the box bag template. Over here, I've got a couple projects. These have been in my suitcase for years that I pull out of the show, so they're a mess. So imagine this nice and pretty, because you would have batting inside of here, or Insulbrite, or Fun Foam, or the, what I really like is the headliner foam, or the soft and stable. This is a box, and you can see those points coming together. I've used blue jeans. I'll show you how to do that on the video. This is a bag. This little guy here for your lunches, you know, sandwiches, that kind of stuff. This is the large box bag, and it's a box, and it's kind of beat up because it's been in and out of my suitcase. When you do either of the two boxes, we're basically going to be cutting out four shapes for the outside and four for the inside. We're going to stitch these guys together, so a roof to a roof, a roof to a roof. Once you've done that, we're basically going to be, these would have been stitched together, we're going to stitch here. What that allows you to do, and you'll see on the videos, is have these guys like this and then we'll stitch side to side. My videos show you how to do that. So I don't want to take the time for that. I want to show you some new projects. But I do want to show you a project that is just like these two that a customer made for me, and I never thought of it. It's a tea cozy. I don't drink tea, so I never thought about doing a tea cozy this way. I thought about doing one that's curved. So this is the box bag. This guy here, she made it a little bit bigger. She also made it reversible. This is that fold over elastic that they have for baby projects. She's got that on the outside, and she's got another one in the inside. When you do this, you're going to do it the same way that you would do my boxes. So watch the videos to see how to do that. What I want to show you is to make a kerchief. Those of you guys on Martelli's Facebook group, this right here, the Martelli Quilters Facebook group, this is one of the ideas that a customer came up with, and she used a different method, but then another customer, several customers actually said, hey, Winter Designs box bag would work. I've just basically cut out the size of the template. You would stitch this close, we would fold it down, fold that down, based on the size of this. If you've got a bigger collar for a dog, then it can be more. If you don't want that much showing, you can fold it down, fold it down, or even just not cut all the way. So you don't have to have all this excess. Totally up to you. Imagine an embroidered name of your dog or woof woof bow wow means I love you, whatever it is you wanted to do. I've just done an iron on because my embroidery machine is still covered up because you all know I've been building a new studio and I don't want any dust on there. So this guy is a fun project to do. It's exactly this template. In a minute I'll cut so you can see how that's done. These are flags. If you think about flags outside your house, you're gonna do it for the birth of the baby, you're gonna do it for a, bar a backyard barbecue, if you love dogs, cats, whatever, those kinds of things. I'm doing a Let's Flamingle giveaway on Facebook, that's why I did this. This is just this cut out. I'm giving this set of fabrics, this is a Lorelei fabric, she's got flamingos on there, I'm giving that fabric away with my giveaway that I'm doing, and it's currently going on, and it will be for two weeks. So I'll have directions on how to enter that giveaway. But that's basically this. This one, all I did was add some tabs just out of your fabric. This is an iron-on. Again, if you've got an embroidery machine, then go ahead and stitch that out. But you don't have to if you don't have an embroidery machine. You can use fabrics, but you can also use just those iron-ons. This is another iron-on. This guy here was done from the large. If you look at this, you can see basically my seam allowance was built into that. So, And this is out of those bags that you can, can get at trade shows. You can get this, uh, you can use this out of uh, painters, um, the, the floor tarps that you can use for painting, those kinds of things. So it doesn't have to be anything fancy. This one, if you notice, I've added some trim. I've added ribbon up here. I've added some kind of pom-pom stuff. And this isn't on here yet because I wanted to show you 
that style and from the same template this style and do you see how this takes on a whole different look you could add trim on here if you wanted to or just leave it as is add the little tags if you wanted to do that but the idea is the flag this style or this style they're both done with the same template when I go to this one here this was from a bag from the Dollar Tree it had flamingos it already had that back we're just cutting it out and stitching it up it couldn't be any faster these guys here they're a little bit bigger because I had more that I wanted to put on here. So I'll show you how to make this a little bit larger. If you watched any of my other, my other box bag templates, I show you how to make them larger. You don't even have to do two layers if you don't want to. This is that outdoor fabric. It's got that little slip part on the back, so you don't even have to finish the edges. But do you see how this one is a little bit bigger? And you can add ribbon trims on there as well. We're at a trade show, so if you're hearing some background noise, we've got customers that are here. So we'll just have to kind of deal with the noise. Okay, so I want to show you how to cut first. So we're going to take this. Where are my two pieces of fabric? All right, I've kind of gotten fabric over here somewhere. There we go. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna cut, cut, cut. If you're gonna make two flags, then you need four pieces if you're gonna do that reversible. If you're gonna do one flag, then you only need um, two. If you're gonna do one that, again, out of this blue material, this kind of stuff, then only one. But what I want you to think about is, when I'm cutting this, we're gonna use our get a grip material. See how that grabs? So if you've got fussy cutting you're gonna do, I'll show you how to do that in a second. Notice my hand. It's right here. I'm not having a cut like this. You, should, you don't see that my shoulder's up. When I cut with this, I'm not cutting in front of me. I'm cutting from my shoulder where my hip is. And I cut and I turn the template. When I cut, if you're going to make a bunch of these, you can cut eight or ten layers. I like to do eight at a time. Cut. Turn that template so this is straight. Notice I don't have it in this position. And then cut. And then I cut and I've got one more side to do and I'll cut. All right, so We've done that, that gives me my two, and then all I'm gonna do is, right sides together, stitch. I like to leave an opening here and here, but if you're really smart, you can increase your stitch length and stitch all the way across. Press that, when you go to turn, you're gonna basically give it a good press, because you can't turn it yet, but press that, just kind of fold that fabric back along that seam allowance, give that a press, and then rip out just that little opening for you to turn. You can add a pom-pom down there if you want to as well. I wanna show you the fussy cut frame because some of you may not know about this fussy cut. So it's the same fabric, so this is not really a great example to show you, but let's pretend that right here is something amazing, this guy here. So do I want this? And we're looking from here to here, here to here. So imagine that. So I'm deciding, do I want this here, or there, wherever? If you wanted to fold in the middle of this, and I don't know if you can see that X that I have there, I'm folding in the middle there, and I'm gonna give a fold there. What that will allow me to do, and I'm pressing here, and I'm pressing here, what that will allow me to do is get that point that I have right here, down there. Do you see how I've got that lined up here? And then I'm looking. If you want to take this to your cutting mat and measure from here to here and put a little mark, then you can do that as well. And notice what I'm doing. I don't have a ton of extra fabric here, so I really can't do a lot. So on a fussy cut, you want to start with a bigger piece of fabric. Frogs, dogs, bears, toads, I call it. That is going to go in here. Let's pretend that I've got lots of extra fabric and that's exactly where I want. And this goes inside. Do you see that? I don't have enough fabric here. So let's pretend that I do. I'm holding this down. This goes inside. I'm going to pop. What I mean by that is pop the fabric. That's going to allow me to get rid of that. And then I would cut, 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 done. Fussy cutting without the fuss. And you'll get the idea. Okay, let's get that out of the way. I want to show you with the bigger piece of fabric how we're going to do bigger. This was a little bit bigger. This was a little bit bigger. It doesn't matter what size template you're going to do. You're going to decide, do I want it wider or do I want it longer? I'm going to do wider. And notice I've already got two layers of fabric here. Four layers, actually. Let's cut this a little bit smaller so you all can get the idea of doing for real. I do like to assembly line, so if I'm going to do a lot of projects, it's great to do all those at the same time. Take the seam allowance into consideration, so I'm going to turn that and go this way. And by the way, we're in a gym that has no air conditioning, so do you see the sweat coming down? It's been lots of fun during the day. Okay, what I want to do is look to make sure that this here is not going to be included in there. All right, I'm going to take my template, and notice right here, 
I've got a mark here and I've got that point. If I were to cut here, I would get exactly this box bag. See how that point is there and that is there? If I were to cut here, I would get exactly that. I don't want to. I want to make this wider, so I'm going to move this over here. When I move this over here, you can see already I've got more fabric here. When I get up to here, I'm going to decide, do I want it to be the same height or do I want it to be taller? So we're going to make it wider and taller. Not a lot bigger. See the difference in this, these two sizes? So I'm not going to do that. We're going to cut. And you can use your mat. If you're going to be doing 20 of these, then use your mat. If you're going to do 20, have me make a template that's perfect for you. Cut. Turn that template, and I'm going to cut to about here. We're going to stop, and this is where I say use your mat. I'm looking here, I'm looking here, and I want to go up two inches. So from here, I'm going to lift up my template, and I'm going to go one, two. Do you see where that is? And I'll bring that down. Now, I would take the time to look from over here to see that I have that lined up. And I'm also looking right over here. Do you see how I've got that lined up? And then I'll cut. I'm adding two more inches. It doesn't matter if I go further because I'm going to go ahead and turn. Now, we're going to cut to here. And what are we going to do? Move the template. So automatically, I'm gonna line that up. See where that's cut? I'm gonna line that up. And I'm doing this in one of my other videos too. There's several ways to do this. And do you see how it really doesn't matter if I go further. What I'm looking for is getting that fabric right along. So we'll go ahead and cut that. And what that allows me to do is make my box bag wider and taller. And again, you can do multiple layers, so that's kind of a neat thing to be able to do as well. Let me show you how to do this guy here. When you do these, when you do this one, what I want to do is start with my fabric and I'm going to fold. Now, I took this to my mat. You can't see here, there's a hash mark and a hash mark there. If you're going to do this style, from here to here is 15 and a half inches. So I really have seven and three quarters where I measured. Do a hash mark, use a metallic Sharpie if you're gonna do this style, cause that'll help you out quite a bit. I folded my fabric and let's pretend that my fabric is going in the right direction instead of, do you see how it's going this way? So it really isn't going in the right direction. So what do I wanna do? I wanna place this where my fold is where that hash mark is and where that hash mark is. And when I cut, we're gonna go ahead and just cut. And imagine I've got that lined up right. I can't see without my glasses, but let's pretend that I've done that accurately. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting the template the size, or the cutting my fabric the size of the template. I'm gonna lift this up. We're gonna come open that up. And then I'm gonna line this up to the edge, the edge of where that fold is. So I'm looking here. Do you see how I've got this here and I've got that there? I don't want to go there. I want to come down. So right here and right here. Is that my phone? What is that sound? Oh, that's your phone. Okay, do you hear her, her ringtone? I love it. You all can see this is real filming here. Okay, so notice what I've done. I've taken the edge of my fabric, lined it up here. I've taken it to the edge there and lined up here. And what we're going to do is very carefully cut. I don't want to go and have your cutter open first. I don't want to go a whole lot further than that because I don't want this any further. So we're going to go right to about here. And when I get to there, notice I didn't go far enough. I'll come back and fix that in a minute. I'm going to start here and then go down here. Now I come back and I say just a hair, just to about there and I'm good to go. Okay, what does that do? That gives me that. Now, if I go a little bit further over, I didn't do it here, but if you did, you've got a seam allowance, quarter inch, three eighths, whatever it is, but that lets you make the flag. If we're going to do a bigger one, the taller one, and just make it taller, then what we can do here is start here, cut, move this down, cut, and then cut, 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 and then move this up. Follow those lines. That's it. Hopefully there's some good ideas. Sorry about the sweating and the background noise and all the craziness, but you all know this is how it rolls. Or this is how I roll. This is how it goes. You all know that saying. I'm not hip or cool, but hopefully you get some good ideas. We love you, Linda. Yeah. <laughs> My groupie, Michelle. Come on, Michelle, get over here. Winterdesigns.com is my website. I have a discount code. Thank you. That's Michelle. She's amazing. So winterdesigns.com. I have a summer 2019. It gives you a 19% discount. All lowercase, a space. Guess what's going to come after summer? Fall. Guess what's going to come after fall? Winter. So winter 2019. It gives you a 19% discount. So if you're buying anything, make sure you use that discount. My YouTube is Linda Videos. That's where you're probably seeing this video. 
my Facebook. You're going to search for Winter Designs or Sewing and Quilting. This is part of my Let's Flamingo giveaway. So if you're watching this video, anytime at the beginning of July, what is this, July 12th? So anytime between July 12th and July 26th, enter my giveaway. Add a comment down below. Thanks for watching.